side. More from the Matthew game Brooks. began on an historic note with the Premiership flag being unfurled for the first time outside Victoria. And the Eagles started like reigning Premiers, Sumich leading the way. In the 27 degree heat, the West Coast were on fire. Intensity typified their play as they steamrolled the Bombers. The three goal margin, no reflection of their domination. Jakovic into an open goal. No, gives it to Sumic. And Sumic will get his third goal. Essendon hit back in the second term. Darren Buick instigating the comeback with three goals. Scores were level until two goals late in the quarter from Tony Evans once again gave the Eagles the ascendancy. Despite Buick kicking six goals by three-quarter time, the visitors had no answer to the freakish ability of Peter Sumich. Shoots at goal, it's rolling, it's rolling, it's there! Tremendous effort from Sumich! And when the big full forward kicked his seventh early in the final term, the lead had blown out to 22 points. But the Bombers refused to concede. Mark McCurry's second major, reducing the lead to less than a goal. However, Chris Lewis sealed the nail-biter, the Eagles home by 13 points. Richmond left its form behind in the Fosters Cup and suffered a 94-point thrashing at the hands of Adelaide at the MCG. Weakened by suspension and injury, the Tigers made a sluggish start and never recovered. Full forward Anthony Modra led the way for the Crows with 10 goals. Drew Morfitt reports. The Tigers lost skipper Jeff Hogg before the start and conceded three goals in the first six minutes. Pittman to kick a goal, all too easy. Their major problem was Anthony Modra at full forward. He was proving a handful for Scott and his marking was superb. Modra, very good mark. Modra had four goals up by quarter time. But deadly accurate. Richmond only just kept in touch and Lambert gave two very doubtful looking handballs which resulted in goals. McQueen benefited once and Nash the next time as Lambert threw it around. Lambert, that was a throw. The Crows led by 21 points at the first change after running the Tigers off their legs. Goes for it, drop punt, and does. McGuinness not only delivered knockout blows to Richmond, but also to his own trainer, who got in his way. Another iffy handball resulted in a goal to Jarman, and the Crows led by 33 points at half-time. In a lacklustre third quarter, Greg Anderson kicked his first goal for the Crows after five seasons with Essendon. And Modra proved his skill at ground level as well as in the air and had seven goals by the last change. He added three more from Marks and finished the game on the bench. The Crows added ten goals in the last quarter and the Tigers are back to where they were. That's disgraceful by Richmond. Drew Morfitt, 7 Nightly News.